Right, so now, I'm gonna make a roasted butternut squash risotto and crispy sage. Okay, this is a big one. Okay, so first of all, I've got my blanched risotto rice. I've got my butternut squash puree. I've got some grated parmesan, some there. I've got some onion, I've got some um, shaved parmesan, I've got some roasted butternut squash. I also have a little bit of white wine. Some crushed, or some small bits of garlic. So I've, I've diced these ones quite small, but you can use a puree if you so wish. I've also got some crispy sage here for the top. And I've also got some diced butter. So we're going to try and finish it with diced butter and parmesan. Okay. Here we go. Pan on. A little bit of oil. So we've already blanched risotto rice, so it should cook quite quickly, which is the idea. Have it blanched in the fridge. When you want risotto, you can cook it relatively quickly. Okay, so let's get the onion. First of all, I'm just gonna dice the onion. So we're gonna cut it lengthways into slices, turn it around, and then we're gonna go for a very fine dice. Okay, so there we have a very fine dice of onion. I'm going to start to smoke. I'm just going to take it off the heat. I don't want to burn the onions as soon as I drop them in there. That's enough. So I just leave that one to the side. Get me a little rubbish bowl. Okay. Don't want the pan to be too hot because I don't want to burn it straight away. Got to get this one right. Okay. Okay, let's get it in. So onions, we've got the onions in. Garlic, let's get the garlic in. Okay. Just gonna leave it off the heat for a second. All that cooking. See that in there cooking away? Okay, lovely. And you really get the smell of the garlic and the onions straight away. They're so small cut, they're just melting in there. Okay. So now, we've got those um, sweated off. We're going translucent. Now I'm going to drop this rice in. So I've got one, two, a couple of good spoons of rice. I'll blanch the rice. I'm going to fire those off a little bit. Get them mixed in with the onion. And then I've just got, so here I've got some 187 milliliter solid oil. About half of that. That's about 90 millilitres of white wine. So I've got the onions, diced off. In there, garlic in there, diced off. Also need some vegetable stock. Okay. So let's get that on, that on. Let's get that white wine cooking down in there. Just need a little bit of vegetable stock. We've got some hot water over here. Get that in there. Right, so that's about 500 millilitres of vegetable stock, of water, one stock cube. Let's get that boiling. Okay, so as you can see, the rice is cooking lovely. Flip that over for a little bit. Let's get that boiling up. You can have your vegetable stock or your chicken stock, or whatever, ready and warm um, as you're ready to start cooking your risotto. Okay. So let's just see how cooked the rice is now. So quite al dente stuff. So what I'm gonna do now is, the veg stock is going. Now, I'm just gonna add a little bit of that veg stock to the risotto. Not too much. Just get that in there. 
flip that over there, not make any noise. There's a load of them like sitting in that one. Okay. Okay, so I've got my button up puree. I'm just going to put one tablespoon in there to start with. No, one and a, one and a half. Going around, try and keep it inside the pan. Okay, lovely. As you can see, the butternut's in there, butternut squash puree, and that's coming off. Okay, it's looking, uh, that's looking good. So I've got another half a tablespoon of this, that's two tablespoons I've put in there, of the butternut puree. Okay. And I'm also going to add a tablespoon of grated parmesan in there. That's one tablespoon. And I'm also going to add about a tablespoon of butter in there. Okay, so now we're going to let that cook out. Really get the smell of the, um, the parmesan and the butter. Give off a really, really, it's a really lovely smell. Look at that. Lovely. I'm just going to give it another quick taste. As you can see, it cooks really quickly once you've blasted it. Going a little bit longer. I'm going to put a little bit of salt, but not too much. Because we've got the parmesan going in there. A little bit more parmesan. So another tablespoon of parmesan. That's in there. Also, I'm going to drop in about another half a tablespoon of diced butter. Okay. okay, that's looking looking grand. Is that another test? Oh no! Why not to spill it? All day in front. I'm going to add a little bit more salt, another teaspoon of salt in there. Can okay, you see that? It's looking, uh, it's looking lovely. Okay. So I think that would just about do it. I mean, So we don't need the veg stock anymore. I reckon that is good. And then just a tiny bit, a tiny bit, a really little bit. Okay. Just to loosen it slightly. Okay. That there is looking pretty tasty. Now we'll get it in a plate. To my plate, so so it run out. Look, oh, yes. Okay. Lovely. I saved that bit for later. So what I've also got is oh, look at that. I've also got some butternut squash here that I'm just going to drop on the top. I've got some little bits of sage because it's a butternut squash and crispy sage risotto. A few of those on there, and then the girl's gonna finish it off with a little bit of grated parmesan, shaved, sorry, shaved, shaved parmesan. Look. That on there, that on there, and that looks to me absolutely lovely. Okay, so let's just take that off there. Okay, so there we got butternut squash and crispy sage risotto. So I've got butternut squash puree through the rice, roasted butternut squash on the top, some crispy sage leaves, and a little bit of shaved parmesan on the top. Let's give it a 
spin.